Well, the internet will be everywhere in the future because chips will cost a penny. That's the cost of scrap paper. Bubblegum wrappers will be more expensive than chips. Chips will be in our glasses, our contact lens even, inside our wristwatch, everywhere. And that's how we'll communicate. So in the future, when we blink, we will go online because there's an internet right in our contact lens. So as I see you, I will see your biography right next to your name. And if you speak to me in Chinese or Hindi, I will see subtitles, subtitles underneath your image. So yeah, this also means advertising will be everywhere because there are more platforms, more platforms I wish to advertise. Okay. And also uh, this future, this, uh, this seemingly hyper-connected future, when do you see it happening? I mean, or what will be the prerequisites for it happening? I'm a physicist, not a science fiction writer. Therefore, when I talk about a future invention, I give you the person doing it and the time frame as to when we expect it to mature. For example, the driverless car, cars that drive themselves by GPS and the computer system, Google has said eight years. Eight years so that you can get into your car and then drive your car like this, okay? As far as the internet glasses, we have them today. They'll be commercialized maybe in five years. Internet contact lens, they're still in prototype form, maybe 10 to 15 years before we have the internet in our contact lens. And even beyond that, in 20 year time frame, we'll mentally, mentally control objects around us like, like a god. Mental telepathy controlling objects around us. On a more personal note, out of these technologies that you've um, introduced earlier in your speech, which one are you most psyched about? Well, I would personally love to have information for free. Because I'm a physicist, and if I have to look up a paper, it used to be I had to go to the library and dig up all these old manuscripts to find out what other physicists had done. Then in the future, we'll simply blink, and then all that information will be there. And think, some of my friends are actors and actresses in New York. They have to memorize lines. They would love it if they simply blink and all the lines of the script are right in front of them so they don't have to flub lines anymore. Or if you're a college student, this is a great way to study for exams. You simply blink and all the answers to the exam questions are right inside your contact lens. Will we be getting out of our rooms by the time that happens? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a lot of things in our, our living room. Our living room will have three-dimensional surrounding us wall screens. So we will be in the matrix. As we move our head, move around, we'll see changing images. I was put in the cave, that's what it's called, the cave. I was put in a cave, and I was put in the middle of a dinosaur fight. Everywhere I looked, I saw dinosaurs, and then a T-Rex came at me, and I put my head right inside the mouth of a T-Rex. We'll do that in your living room. That's your living room of the future three-dimensional panels surrounding you, giving you instantaneous knowledge.